wrong for making a joke about my brother's divorce. My wife, Elle, and I have been married for a year now. Back in the day, Elle worked as a sports model. Her job required her to meet a very rigid beauty standard and look a certain way. She was always on a strict diet and was severely underweight. Since then, she's gained a healthy amount of weight and muscle and is much happier. My brother, Chris, is wealthy, like extremely wealthy. He's done well for himself and seems happy about where he is in life. He just got out of a nasty divorce with his ex-wife and has asked to stay with me for a few weeks as he moves into his new place. Chris, to put it simply, has a type. He believes that every woman should subscribe to his type. Any woman who doesn't fit his preference is automatically ugly and unlovable. He wants all women to conform to his standards, hell or high water. Two days ago, Chris found some of Elle's old magazine covers and commented on how beautiful she was back then. It's a harmless comment, sure, but he kept bringing up how much she's let herself go. I mean, kept bringing it up. Al goes for a run every evening, and as she was heading out the door, Chris told- Ugh. Ugh. Weird title already. Am I wrong for not agreeing to let my husband have a baby with another woman? Man. Duh. Of course. Like, what? Why would that- Why would- Why would- Why? 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 I, 32 female, am married to a great man, James, 36. He might not be so great if he's trying to get another girl pregnant, but let's get into it. Who is a sperm donor to his friend Miranda, 35 female, and her wife Vivian, 30 female. And they have a sweet little boy, and he is a very involved uncle. This all started before I was in the picture, and when I first started dating James, it felt a little weird at times, but grew to accept it because not all families are the same. Also, Miranda and Vivian are great. James and I have been married for a while and trying for a baby. Because of the pandemic, we decided to not actively try again until next year, but are still not using protection. Recently, Miranda approached James about being a donor again. He said that he needed to think about it and consulted me. And to be honest, I told him I was uncomfortable about the idea. Like I said, Miranda and Vivian's son was already in the picture before I came around, so I know I needed to accept it or leave. But now that I am his wife and trying to conceive myself, I just don't think that I can ever handle seeing another woman carry his bait. Am I wrong for trying to talk my friend out of taking a paternity test? My friend Nick and his wife Jessie just had a baby. I'm close friends with both of them. The baby looks just like Nick, there's no question they are related. One of Nick's friends is a bit of a weird guy and he brainwashed Nick into wanting to take a paternity test. Nick asked my advice on how to bring up this topic with his wife Jess. Oh, you don't, you psycho. I was shocked. I thought their relationship was good and they trusted each other and the baby looks just like Nick. I started asking Nick question as to why he thinks Jess cheated. What did she do that made him suspicious? Yummy! He admitted that she didn't do anything, but he needs the test to be certain. So I told Nick that it's a bad idea and could really hurt Jess. She had an extremely traumatic birth, the baby was huge, she didn't get an epidural, and everything ripped. I think she might even have postpartum depression. What she needs is support and love, not 